be thou exalted, 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 Emmanuel. Be thou exalted, 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 Emmanuel. Be thou exalted, exalted, exalted. He manu he, he wolo ye, he wolo ye, he wolo ye. Ati ba ogo, he wolo ye, he wolo ye, he wolo ye. Ati ba ogo, he wolo ye, he wolo ye. I wolo ye la ti gba ogo I wolo ye Jesu I wolo ye I wolo ye la ti gba ogo You are worthy You are worthy to be glorified You are worthy You are worthy you are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy to be glorified. You are lo ye, Jesu, you are lo ye. I wolo ye la ti gba ogo I wolo ye I wolo ye I wolo ye la ti gba ogo 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 I wolo ye Atiba ogo, you won't know yet. 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 Be thou exalted, 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 Emmanuel. Be thou exalted, 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 Emmanuel. Be thou exalted, 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 Emmanuel. Be thou exalted. Exalted, exalted, Emmanuel, be thou exalted, 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 Emmanuel. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Lord of Lords. Thank you, Rose of Sharon. Thank you, Lily of the Valley. My Father and my God, you are the Almighty. You are the God of our Father. You are the God who raised up Jesus up from the grave by your power. All power in never and now belongs to you. You are God who reigned forevermore. You are God who can never be overthrown. You sit head upon the circle of the heart. And the inhabitants of the heart are like grasshoppers before you. You are God who stretches heaven as a curtain. We worship you. You are God who stretches out a sense in his dwelling. You are God that brings the powerful to nothing. You make the judge of the earth as vanity. Blessed be your name. My Father and my God, I worship you. Who can we equal to you? There is no man that can be equal to you. Nobody can be likened unto you. You are highly exalted. 
the Lord who liveth forever, great and mighty God. You are the strong God. You are God who dwells on high. Holy is your name. Compassionate is your name. Gracious is your name. We bless your holy name this brand new day. We thank you for what you have been doing in this revival. We thank you for marvelous things that we are going to testify today as well. To you be all the praise, to you be all the honor, to you be adoration. Accept our thanks and places in Jesus' name. And as we begin to seek your faith again on this brand new day, today is the day that you have made, Lord. We shall rejoice. We shall be glad. We shall rejoice. We shall be glad. We shall rejoice. We and our family, we and our household, in the name of Jesus, lay your mighty hand upon us this morning. Father, command your healing power upon your children. Command your deliverance power. Do not allow the destitute to go empty and dead this morning. Hear all the prayer of your children. And let all the glory and adoration be yours. Let testimony be ours. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. I welcome you again into the program. I move from glory to greater glory. The Lord Almighty shall watch over his word to bring it to performance in the life of every one of us in the name of Jesus. By the grace of God, there is a little a short announcement and adjustment. So please follow through as we continue in the presence of God this morning. Anywhere you find yourself this morning, this is a crucial time of the day, early in the morning. Lift up your voice say, Lord, I bless your name that today I'm alive. I'm able to see the breaking of a brand new day. Whenever I see the breaking of a brand new day, I say thank you. Say thank you. Thank you for this day. Thank you for my life. Thank you for the breath that I have. Thank you for all the way you have been protecting, all the way you preserve our life. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the gift of brand new day. Thank you today is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice, we shall be glad. We shall rejoice, we shall be glad. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. On this brand new day, I'm the Lord. This one said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody can come to the Father except by me. Say, Father, Lord, I thank you for you direct my path to the way, to the truth, to the life. You did not allow me to go astray. I give you praise. My Father, my Father, my Father, my Father, I thank you for the way you direct me, O oh Lord, to the right path of life. Thank you for not allowing us to go astray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for being the way, the truth, the life. Thank you for upholding us. Thank you for setting our feet on the way, on the truth, on the life. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you adoration. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you adoration. In the name of Jesus. Anywhere you find yourself, redeem this brand new day with the blood of Jesus. I redeem today with the blood of Jesus Christ. I redeem today with the blood of Jesus. I redeem today with the precious blood of Jesus. In the morning, at noon, at night, I redeem it with the blood of Jesus Christ. As you are redeeming it, declare and decree, only the will of God shall come to pass today in the name of Jesus. As I redeem today with the blood of Jesus, only the will of my Father will come to pass. Only the will of God shall come to pass in this country, in my city, in my state, in my life, on this brand new day. Only the will of God shall come to pass for my life. Only the will of God shall come to pass for my family. Declare it loud and clear on this brand new day. Say, Satan shall not harvest my blessing in the name of Jesus Christ. On this brand new day, Satan shall not harvest my blessing. He shall not harvest my family blessing. He shall not harvest my, uh, my blessing, this fasting and prayer. Declare it loud and clear. Satan shall not harvest my blessing on this brand new day. Satan shall not harvest my blessing in this fasting and prayer. Satan shall not harvest my blessing throughout this program. In the name of Jesus. Say that which in that prayer from being answered. As I said in here to pray this morning, 
Holy Spirit said, there is somebody here you need to warn. Warn the person with First Peter chapter 3, verse 7. Likewise, ye husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker fellow, and as being here together of the grace of life, that your prayer be not hindered. I pray that the prayer that we, we pray, we wake up early to pray, we come at night to pray, we come at the uh, middle of the night to pray, nothing will hinder it. The Holy Spirit, deliver me from anything whatsoever. Maybe not being, not, not being respectful to our partner, maybe quarreling between us and our partner. The Holy Spirit deliver me from anything whatsoever that has been programmed to, to hinder my prayer from being answered. In this fasting and prayer program, Holy Spirit deliver me from anything whatsoever that can hinder my prayer, my family prayer, the prayer I offer for my children, the prayer I offer for my friend, family, for the nation, whatever that can hinder my prayer from being answered. Holy Spirit, deliver me from it. Deliver me from it. Open your mouth and declare it. My Father, my Father, my Father, my Father, my Father, thank you for not allowing the agenda of the enemy to be covered. Whatever that can hinder the blessing of any one of us from this program, Holy Ghost, deliver us. Deliver us now. Deliver us. Deliver us. Holy Ghost, deliver me from whatever that can hinder my prayer from being answered. In this fasting and prayer program, Holy Spirit, whatever that can hinder my prayer from being answered, deliver me now. Deliver me now. Open your mind. If anything whatsoever that Satan wants to program as an hindrance to answer prayer, oh God, my Father, deliver me. Deliver me. Deliver me. Deliver me. Hindrance between prayer and answer prayer. Holy Ghost, deliver me. Deliver me. Deliver me from them in the name of Jesus. Every desire of the evil one for my soul, every desire of the evil one for my family, desire of the evil one, let it be cut off now. Desire of the wicked over my life, over my children, over my fasting, over my prayer, over my fellowship with God. Desire of the wicked one be cut off over our life. Desire of the wicked one on this brand new day. Desire of the wicked one over our home, over our children, over our destiny, over our fasting, over our prayer. Desire of the wicked one be cut off, be cut off, be cut off, be cut off in the name of Jesus. The word of God in Psalm 84, Psalm 84, verse number 11. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Psalm 84, verse 11. For the Lord God is a sun and a shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk upright. Verse 12. O Lord of hosts, blessed is the man that trusted in thee. If you and I did not trust in God, we would just take it for granted and said, maybe we pray yesterday night. There is only one step between life and death. He said, I said unto you, pray without ceasing. We thank God because we depend on him. We put our trust in him. The Bible says, for putting trust in the, in the Lord, you are blessed already. That is why without any doubt, every life following God and participate in this program, we shall be extremely blessed in the name of Jesus. The Bible says the Lord will give grace and glory. Grace is the, 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 the divine enablement. And our life as a child of God, our life as a Christian is a life of glory. Our life is called to come and showcase the glory of God. God called every believer so that we, we can be a living grace of God. And the Lord he has, he has promised to show us this grace. He has promised 
to show all this glory that we desire. And how will he give us this glory and grace? For the Lord God is a son and a shield. He first enumerates the nature of God. Our God is a son. Some preserve, some protect, and some brighten. God is the one to protect us, to preserve our life, and to brighten our life and destiny. And a shield. God Almighty that we have come to seek refuge is a shield. Is the protector of those who fear him. Is the, is the preserver of their life. The Lord will protect you. He will preserve our life. That the Lord will give grace and glory. What else does the life of anyone on earth need than the grace and divine enablement, than glory of God to be seen in someone's life? So no good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. This is a promise. The Lord will give grace and glory to everyone who walk uprightly before him. He will give you divine grace. The one we are doing this morning is by the grace of God, not by our power. The one we are going to be doing at our place of work conveniently, the Lord Almighty releases abundant grace. Grace makes you not to, be com- to complain. Grace is what you don't deserve unmerited favor. He, he helps you to get things that you did not deserve. He helps you to be perfect in front of people, but they will not know that it's the grace. That's why I pray that the grace of God that passes all understanding shall be given unto every life here. Many people are running out of goodness, out of doing good, because the grace have, have not been released upon them. I pray that the grace of God this morning shall be released upon every life here. And the glory. When you say glory, glory is speaking about the nature of God. Our God is a glorious God. And he has called every believer to manifest his glory. Our calling as a child of God is to manifest the glory of God on heart. He created us in his own image. And any time we allow the glory of God to manifest in our life, people see the nature of God. I pray that the grace and glory that our life desire, that our children desire, that our marriage desire, that our assistant desire shall be released abundantly in the name of Jesus. To receive grace and glory of God is not funny and it's not cheap. Christianity is not a joke and it's not rising and falling. It's not a life of complaining. Christianity is not a life of complaining. He said, carry your cross daily and follow me. Carry your cross daily and follow me. It's a progressive journey. It's a progressive growth. It's a progressive enablement. But we must carry our cross. He did not say we will not have cross. He did not say it will be easy. In a place, Jesus said, if you cannot forsake your father, your mother, your children, this, you can follow me. Is a, Christianity is a calling. And it's those who make it to the end that end up in sources. That's why we should say, God, the Father, give me power. Give me grace to stand to the end. Lord, empower me to stand to the end. In this revival, in this race, empower me to stand to the end in the name of Jesus. Some people, they thought Christianity is a life of escape. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't do this, I can't do that. Christianity is not bread and butter. He said the Lord will give grace and glory. Those who appear before him with upright heart, uh, who walk circumstantially with him, then no good thing will leave told from them who walk uprightly. When you desire to walk with God, you walk uprightly, you walk in a way that will be able to reward you. He gives grace and glory to those who walk uprightly, not to everybody. That's why in this fasting and prayer, it is, it is important that we walk with God uprightly. It is important that we take every step 
with, with fear and trembling. It is important that we take every aspect of it seriously. And as we do so, the grace and the glory that we move our life from this present glory to greater glory shall be released in Jesus' name. Shall be released in Jesus' name. Shall be released in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and, uh, and declare, uh, O oh God of glory, O oh God of glory, O oh God of glory, envelope my life afresh with your glory. Envelope my life, envelope my destiny, envelope my children, envelope us afresh with your glory, with your glory. Envelope my marriage with your glory, declare. Envelope my destiny with your glory. Envelope my journey, that journey that remains in this month of June. Envelope it with your glory. Let my life, my family, my spouse, my destiny manifested your glory. Manifested your glory. Manifested your glory in the name of Jesus. In all that you have called me to do, O oh God, my Father, let your divine grace back me up as a mother, as a father, as a leader, as a preacher. Whatever God has committed into your hand, ask for the grace. Father, let your grace, your abundant grace, back me up. Back me up. Let your abundant grace back me up. 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 In the name of Jesus. Lord God is a son and shield. Say, oh God, my Father. Oh God, my Father. Anything that will not make me to be under your coverage, remove it from my life. Whatever that will not make me to be under the coverage of your power as a son, your power as a shield, remove it from my life. Remove it from my life. Remove it from my life. In the name of Jesus. The Father, walk through every second of my life. Heal me, O oh Lord, where I need healing. Walk through my life today. Walk through my family. Walk through my children's life. Heal where we need healing in Jesus' name. Say, my Father, heal me where I need healing. In this revival program, walk back through my life. Walk through my life. Walk through my children's life. Walk through my spouse's life. Heal us where we need healing. Yes, deliver your children where they need deliverance. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, walk through the life of everyone here as we present ourselves. Lord, heal where there is need for healing. Deliver where there is need for deliverance. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Every wish of death, every wish of untimely death for my life and children be canceled in Jesus' name. Every wish of death, covenant of death, for my life and children, be totally cancelled, be cancelled, be cancelled, be cancelled, be cancelled, be cancelled, be cancelled in Jesus' name. The Lord is a son and a shield. He preserves and he repairs and he protects. Every damage that has been done to my life by satanic attack, by satanic agent, every damage that has been done to my children's life by satanic attack, by satanic agent, Father, by your power, repair my life, repair my children's life, repair my foundation, repair my marriage. Every damage that has been done to the soul, to the spirit, to the body of anyone here, Holy Ghost, repair it, 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 repair it now. In the name of Jesus, the Lord God is a son and a shield. And no good thing will be withhold from those who walk uprightly. Any area in my life that is still slumbering and sleeping, Holy Ghost, wake me up. Holy Spirit, wake me up spiritually. Holy Ghost, any areas in my life that are still sleeping, Holy Ghost, wake me up. Wake me up by fire. Holy Ghost, wake my children up. Wake my spouse up. Holy Ghost, by your power, wake me up. Yes, the Lord God is a son and a shield. No good thing will live withhold from them that walk uprightly. Any area where we are not walking uprightly, Holy Ghost, wake us up. 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 
Wake us up in the name of Jesus. Yes, Holy Ghost, wake your children up. That is why we can. That's how we can move from glory to greater glory. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, wake every area that is still sleeping. Holy Ghost, wake it up. Wake it up. Wake it up. Wake it up. Wake it up in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we give you praise. Father, Lord, we give you honor. Father, we give you adoration. We thank you, Father, for drawing us to the way, the truth, and the life. We thank you, Father, for giving us appetite for what you have prepared for us. David said, the Lord prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemy. We thank you, Father, for the table of goodness, the table of blessing, table of good health, table of favor that you have prepared for your children. We thank you for drawing us to pray and power. We thank you, Father, for what you have done in our life already. We thank you for what you are going to do on this brand new day. We thank you for the victory you have commanded for us. We thank you for deliverance. We thank you for healing. Accept our thanks and praise in the name of Jesus. By the power of your word. The scripture says the Lord God is a son and a shield. No good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. Father, I decree every good thing, good house, Good job, good home, good family, yes, good health, every good thing that the heart of this your children desire, oh, Father, by your power, release it now. Release it. No good thing will be withhold. Open your mouth anywhere you are this morning. Begin to, begin to mention every good thing that your life needed. No good thing will be withhold from those who walk uprightly. Open your mouth, whatever that is not good in your life, that you want him to make it good, ask him for good favor, good understanding, good health. Make all him a sin that you No good thing. Begin to mention every good thing that you have desire on this brand new day. Good blessing. Oh, yes, good helper. Yes, good understanding of your word. Good health. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Good luck. Yes, in the name of Jesus, good opportunity. Open your mouth. No good thing will be told from those who walk uprightly. All the good thing that the heart of everyone here desire, all the good thing that reside in heaven. For the scriptures say, every good and perfect gift, they are from above. All the good gift that is above, that the life of everyone here needed, Father, release it, release it, release it. Release it, release it, release it in Jesus' name. The Lord God is a son and a shield. He will give grace and glory. Lord, I pray that the grace and glory that we advertise your glory in the life of everyone here. Lord, in this revival of glory, release that grace and glory now. Release it, release it. Uncommon grace, uncommon glory, uncommon grace. On common glory of God. Father, release it upon our life. Release it upon our children. Release it upon our job. Release it upon our ministry. On common grace and glory in the name of Jesus. No good thing will he withhold. Every good thing that the life of everyone here lacks. Every good thing that we advertise the goodness of God in the life of everyone here. Holy Ghost. Channel it to, this, to, the, to the life of everyone here now in the name of Jesus. Many lack good earth. Holy Ghost, release good earth now in Jesus' name. Many lack good, good, good opportunity. Holy Spirit, deliver it now. Good opportunity. Many lack good understanding. Holy Ghost, deliver it now. Every good thing that we manifest the glory of God upon the life and family of everyone here. Yes, in this revival glory, we receive that good thing now. We receive a good earth, good job, good opportunity, good husband, good wife. Yes, in the name of Jesus, good children, every good thing that the heart of everyone here desire that will manifest the glory of God, we receive it. 
will receive it, will receive it, will receive it, will receive it, in the name of Jesus. Those who walk uprightly, I pray that the Lord will fire the fire of everyone here. Every battery that is going down, Holy Ghost will charge the battery of our life. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit will help us to put away laziness and charge this thing away in the name of Jesus. That which has been programmed to hinder the blessing, that which has been programmed to rob us of what God has ordained for us. Lord, I pray that you will uproot hindrance to prayer. You will uproot physical hindrance, spiritual hindrance to this fasting and prayer. Holy Ghost, uproot it with your fire. The good understanding that we need to have in order to possess our blessing, full-scale blessing in this program, we receive that good understanding in Jesus' name. Whatever that can country constitutes a childish behavior, Father, separate us from it in Jesus' name. Any household that have been troubled by the wicked one now, let all the wind, all the turbulence wind in the home, let it expire now in the name of Jesus. In this revival of glory, many glory that have been covered, many glory that have been redundant, many glory that have been, that have, that, that have been silent. I pray that the glory and the lifter up of earth shall lift your glory up, shall lift the glory of your children, shall lift the glory of everyone here up in the name of Jesus. On this brand new day, that which we bring glory to the name of God, receive it in Jesus' name. That which we make every eye that sees you to know that indeed you are the image of the glory of God. Receive it in the name of Jesus. That which the life of everyone here needs to move from glory to greater glory. Receive it in the name of Jesus. How the Lord God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with Holy Ghost and power, and he goes about doing good. I decree and I declare the anointing that will make us to go from air and begin to do good and begin to manifest goodness. Let the anointing of God for good things be released upon our life in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you adoration. Thank you for waking us up at this hour. Thank you for opening our understanding to whatever that wants to hinder our blessing. Thank you for giving us victory over it. Thank you for giving us victory over our journey today. Thank you for giving us victory, victory over all the challenges and problems. Thank you for giving our children victory. Thank you for making our brother to be at peace. Thank you, Lord, for making our fasting and prayer to be a channel of grace and your uncommon glory. Thank you, Father, that all the good things that we showcase your glory, you have empowered it, you have released it upon us. We give you praise, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen and amen in Jesus' name. And it's not very very yeah, yeah, easy for many people here to be awakened at weekend in the morning. But you fear God and you trust him and you awaken anyway in order to call upon him at this early hour. And I pray that the blessing that follow those who trust God and who walk uprightly will follow your life and my life in Jesus' name. I want us to listen to a little bit adjustment to our program due to the nature of our program and how our program runs. Take notice of weekend. In the program, all the Saturday and Sundays is going to be at night. It's going to be at 9 p.m. Beginning from tomorrow, which is Sunday, we're not going to have service in the morning. So our service is going to be 9 p.m. on Sunday, 9 p.m., on Saturday, because on Saturday mostly we already have a night feeding of our praying parents, and we, we, uh, it is a strain on a lot of people. Many work overnight, many work 
like that. So, and it is important that every one of us, we are able to benefit from this program as our heart has desire that I am ready to move from glory to greater glory. So with the help of Holy Spirit, our weekend program is going to be 9 p.m. on Saturday, 9 p.m. on Sunday. This Saturday, we are not going to have this Saturday because we already have right now in the morning. But tomorrow, Sunday night, we are going to have at 9 p.m., not in the morning. And throughout the program, throughout the program, which is going to end on Monday the 22nd, on Monday the 22nd, so all the weekend that we have in it, how many weekend? Today is on the 6th, so on the 13th, it's going to be 9 p.m., on the 14th, it's going to be 9 p.m., and on the 20, it's going to be 9 p.m. And on the 21, it's going to be 9 p.m. by the grace of God. Monday and Tuesday that we normally have at 9 p.m. still remain the same. And our morning that we always have Monday through Friday still remain the same. The only adjustment is the weekend that we move from in the morning to 9 p.m so that majority and a lot of people can be partaker of it. And I pray that as God extend this grace, everyone will be partaker of this grace and glory. And no good thing shall be withheld from our life, shall be withheld from us on a daily basis. No good thing will elude every life here in the name of Jesus. Take note, we are going to post it into our communication channel, the phone too. So take notice of it, and I pray that the blessing of God of Abraham, the blessing of God of Isaac, the blessing of God of Jacob that passes all understanding will rest upon every life here in the name of Jesus. Don't forget the Lord God is a son, and he will preserve, he will protect, and he will shine upon every life that trusted in him. And he's a shield against sin and unseen arrow. He will shield your life, your children. He will shield your, your glory. And he will give grace and glory, not to everybody, to them who walk uprightly. I pray that the grace and the fresh auction to walk uprightly in his presence will be released in the name of Jesus. We have come to the end of this one today. Don't forget, we don't have prayer tonight. We have it from tomorrow, Sunday, 9 p.m. And on Monday, 9 p.m., including the morning, on Tuesday, in the morning, and in the night. And again, on Friday, the way we normally have our praying parent as well. We just have grace extended for night, two more nights for us. And I pray that this will be entire blessing for every life here, in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. On this brand new day, the Lord be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. The name of God of Abraham, God of Isaac and Jacob be established upon every life here, now, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Enjoy your day in Jesus.